I think it is time for the New York Knicks to make a switch in their starting shooting guard role. Very small sample size, but Quinta Grimes has been hurt with a sprained left wrist. That opened the door for Dante DiVincenzo to start alongside Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, the uh, normal starters for the New York Knicks. And boy, he has impressed. His last game versus the Charlotte Hornets was a career night for Dante DiVincenzo. 25 points, 3 steals, 3 assists, 3 rebounds, 1 block shot, 7 of 10 from 3-point land. He shot 75% from the field. And what I loved about him going into the starting lineup is that it just didn't miss a beat. It, seemed, it just seemed like everything flowed out there. Nothing was forced. He fit right in with alongside Jalen Brunson. Now, obviously, those two have chemistry from their Villanova days. But what I loved about Dante DiVincenzo starting is just that it just it looked better, to be honest with you. This is no fault of Quentin Grimes. Like, I made a video about Quentin Grimes, how the Knicks are using him wrong, how Quentin Grimes need to take, take it upon himself to actually be aggressive and, you know, do more on his part to, you know, solidify himself in that starting shooting guard role. But it just looks so much cleaner. It just looks so much better. The offense has been flowing. And we're going to get into the downsides of, you know, starting at Dante Vincenzo, mostly the defense. Look, Quentin Grimes is mostly in there for the defense. He's guarding pretty much the best guard on the opposing team 99% of the time. And he does a damn good job at it as he is one of the best one-on-one -on -one individual defenders in the NBA. So if you take Quentin Grimes out of the starting lineup, do you lose that defense when you insert Dante DiVincenzo into the starting lineup? You do, but I think Dante can hold his own. Like if it's a smaller guard, I think Dante can hold his own. Obviously, if it's a bigger guard, Quentin Grimes is a bigger guard. He's 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 bigger than Dante. He's obviously a better defender than Dante DiVincenzo. Look, do I think the New York Knicks will make the switch and start Dante over Quentin Grimes when Quentin Grimes is healthy? Who knows? But the numbers have been great, man. The offense has been great. I mean, we scored 120 points in Washington, 122 points at Charlotte. These are now back-to-back -back games where Dante DiVincenzo has scored in double-digit figures. Quinta Grimes, sometimes he's out there. He's, he's taking less than 10 shots. He's scoring six, seven points out there. 14 points against the Wizards, 25 points against the Charlotte Hornets. Now, is Dante DiVincenzo going to hit above 50% from three? For the majority of the season, no. But four from eight from three versus the Washington Wizards, seven to ten from three versus Charlotte Hornets. Look, when the New York Knicks inserted Quentin Grimes in the starting lineup last year, it clicked, honestly. And we thought, you know, throughout the season and the in the playoffs, especially, that hopefully he will, you know, get his offensive game going. Hopefully he will take that next step offensively. Hopefully he will find his footing in this starting lineup alongside Brunson, alongside Randall, alongside Barrett. And he just hasn't. To start the season, he just hasn't found his footing yet. And when you insert a Dante DiVincenzo, these two pass games, and you see it right off the bat, you're questioning yourself. You're like, boy, what is going on? And like I said, this is no fault of Quentin Grimes, but it just looks, it looked, it looked good. <laughs> it looked good. And I'm sure you guys noticed it as well. The offense looked amazing. And, you know, will Tom Tilden make the switch? <laughs> Who knows? But it's going to be a great debate amongst Knicks fans. And, you know, I, I would like to see it because, like I said, we already have the chemistry there with Dante and Brunson. And just with Grimes, it just hasn't been there. It's just been off. You know, he's had spurts. He's had blow-up games over 20 points here. Last year, he had a 30-point game in Dallas. He's had his spurts. But what we've been wanting is consistency from that position. And like I said, inserting a Dante DiVincenzo in the starting lineup, there are downsides in the defense. The defense will be the downside. Like, Quinta Grimes is a better defender than Dante DiVincenzo. But look, man, I mean, we even saw Dante DiVincenzo do a putback dunk against the Washington Wizards. Just flying all over the place, man. It's just It was just refreshing to see that position, the starting shooting guard position, score like that. And we haven't seen that consistently for a while now. I don't know, man. Is it time for the New York Knicks to make this switch? Honestly, you guys know where I stand on the whole Quentin Grimes situation. Love the kid. I want him to succeed. I want him to do well. But it just hasn't clicked on that end. And offensively, defensively, he's been amazing. But offensively, it just, just hasn't clicked. He has all the tools. He has the playmaking tools. It's you know, we, we see Dante cutting and, you know, blocking shots and, you know, put, put back dunks and hitting his threes in the corner. Look, Tom Thibodeau always says it's based on a merit system. And when you have guys like Dante DiVincenzo pretty much playing better than you, I mean, why wouldn't you go to him in the starting lineup? So who knows? Will there be a switch? Will Quentin Grimes come back and keep his starting shooting guard position? What do you guys think? Do you guys want Dante DiVincenzo to start? Who do you guys want Quentin Grimes to start and just wait it out and hopefully his offense will 
come. I put up a poll on X and so far it is running away with Dante DiVincenzo being the starter of the New York Knicks. Obviously a lot of Knicks fans loved what they've seen from Dante and for good reason, man. It's looked awesome within, with him in the starting lineup these past two games. I'm not going to lie to you. And, you know, we've been, this is what I've wanted to see from our starting shooting guard position, you know, the shooting guard position. This is what I've wanted to see. A, another playmaker alongside Brunson, another sniper alongside Brunson. And Dante just fits that role, man. Like I said, we will lose our defense with inserting Dante into the starting lineup, but not that much. I don't think we would lose it that much. So it's an interesting dilemma. It, it really is. So once again, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want to do? Keep grinds? or start Dante DiVincenzo. Tough decisions lie ahead for the New York Knicks. I'm Anthony from Knicks Station. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. As always, it is Let's Go Knicks. We're rolling now, man. We are rolling. I'll catch you guys in the next time. Peace.